in your life. Second Corinthians chapter 9 verse 8. And God is able to make all grace upon toward you. That ye always having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work. See it all over the New Testament. Good works all the time. Hebrews chapter 10. Hebrews chapter 10. We're reading from verse 24. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 24. And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. Let us consider one another to encourage to steer up, to stimulate, to influence, to provoke unto love and to good works. Help your neighbor to want to be good. Help the ministers to want to be their best. Help everyone you come across to want to go beyond this natural strength and do something that will benefit a community. You provoke them to love and to good works. It tells us in Hebrews chapter 13, verses 20 and 21. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 20. Now the God of peace that brought again from the dead and not Jesus that great shepherd of the sheep through the blood of the everlasting covenant make you perfect in every good work make you perfect in every good work make you perfect in every good work to do his will walking in you that which is well pleasing in his sight through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever, and the people of God said, Amen. Amen. We come to point number three. In point number three, likeness to Christ's model of glorifying God. Let's come back to Matthew chapter 5. Matthew chapter 5, verse 16. Let your light so shine let you understand that word let your light so shine you know sometimes you have a little boy and then you put that little boy in between your two legs and you're holding him and it says let me run release me to run and sometimes a child is trying to write and you think he cannot write well and you're holding his hand he says let me write it myself let me don't restrict me don't hold my hand let me do it and sometimes the person is facing a challenge and he wants to do something and then you are saying no you cannot do this no this is tough no this is difficult he said let me alone let me do it i can do it let me let your light so shine don't restrict it let go release it the light is there. If you have Christ in you, He is the light of the world. Let Him shine through you. But you see, if you are holding on, and if you are restricting yourself, I am shy. I don't know how to help people. I am shy. I don't know how to come out and say, I can do this. I am shy. I don't know how to say, are you born again? I am born again. I'll give you my testimony. I am shy. Let your light so shine. Throw the shyness away. The things that tie you, the things that bind you, the things that restrict you, let your light so shine. You know, there are times 
It's like two people. I read about them. Husband and wife had surely something happened. And each of them, they made themselves and they says, I will not, they said, I will not talk first. And the husband kept quiet. And the wife kept quiet. And then there were some interesting things that somebody should talk about. No, I made a decision. And I made up my mind, I will not talk first. And there was something funny that husband and wife should laugh about. And the wife said, no. I said, I will not, I will not talk first. If I talk first, he will think I am weak. And then the man, there was something to laugh about and something to talk about. And then the man said, no, I am a man. I'm going to stand by my decision. I will not laugh first. And they were looking at themselves. And there was a laughter inside them. They will not let it out. There was a voice inside them. They will not let it out. I made up my mind. I will not talk first. And all that time, they were miserable. When you brought to each in, I will not talk first. I will not act first. I will not smile first. I will not say anything first. Both of them were miserable. And then their little child was crawling. And it was crawling near the fire. I will not talk first. I will not shout first. And just as the child was about to get into the fire with the hand, the woman said, Hey! And the wife said, okay, I'm going to talk now because you talk first. Somebody must talk first. Let your light so shine. Let go and let God. All the bad decisions, I will not talk first. I will not smile first. I will not help first. I will not go first. I will not do anything interact first. I make up my mind. What kind of mind is that? That will not want to obey the Lord. What kind of mind is that? That will not let go and let God let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works. And glorify your Father who is in heaven. When Jesus came into this world, he permitted his light to shine. There was no restriction. It just shone everywhere. And that's why he says in John chapter 17 verse 4. John chapter 17 verse 4. I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. And that's the example the Lord wants us to follow. He wants us to shine. He wants our light to shine. He tells us in John chapter 8, chapter 15, verse 8, Herein is my Father glorified, that she bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. The fruit is the good works. The Lord has taught us tonight in his word. And he has said, if you want to show that Calvary has an impact in your life, if you want to show that Calvary has an effect in your life, here is something you can do. Christ is living on the inside of your heart right now. Let him shine through you. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. My life will be a glory to God. My life will be a glory to God. I will not be a dishonor in the house of God. I said I will not be a dishonor in the house of God. Are you going to be a dishonor? You will honor the Lord. Why don't you stand up and say, Lord, I thank you for what you have taught me today. My light will shine. My light will shine. My light will shine.
Let your light so shine. Let your light so shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord. Let your light shine. Let your light shine. Before men, not behind men. But don't make that your primary motive or motivation. Only to win the praise of men. Walk thou before God and, and be thou perfect. Walk thou before God and be thou perfect. That he might deliver us from the hands of our enemies, and that we might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our lives. Release yourself to do good, you can, as a child of God. Actually, it takes a great effort to do bad. It takes a great effort to do evil. It takes a greater effort to frown than to smile. It takes a great planning to hurt somebody. It takes less planning, less effort, less energy to help. Christ is living on the inside of you. And he is the light of the world. And he has now made you light. Let that light shine before men. Before men, not behind them. Yes, God is your priority. God is number one. But then Jesus Christ himself has commanded us, let your light shine so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Your life will honor the Father. Your life will be a glory to the Heavenly Father.